Hi, welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by the light dependent reactions and the light independent reactions. Now, this is the first video in the photosynthesis topic. I would strongly recommend that you complete the respiration topic before tackling photosynthesis, and that's because many of the concepts are the same. Now, photosynthesis is carried out by plants and by algae, and scientists describe these organisms as autotrophic. Organisms such as animals cannot photosynthesize. They get their nutrients by eating plants or other animals. So scientists say that animals are heterotrophic organisms. Okay, I'm showing you here the word and chemical equations for photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water are reacted together. This requires energy, which comes from light. The products of photosynthesis are the carbohydrate glucose and oxygen. Now the chemical bonds in glucose contain a great deal of stored energy, and this energy was transferred from the light energy trapped during photosynthesis. The reactions of photosynthesis take place in chloroplasts. I'm showing you the structure of a chloroplast here, and remember that we looked at these in detail in the topic on cell structure. Chloroplasts contain membrane-bound flattened discs called thylakoids, and thylakoids are stacked together to form a granum. Different grana are connected by flattened membranes called lamellae, and the fluid inside the chloroplast is called the stroma. Now photosynthesis actually consists of a series of different chemical reactions. We can divide these reactions into two groups. The light-dependent reactions take place on the thylakoid membranes, and the light-dependent reactions can only happen in the presence of light. In the light-dependent reactions, light energy is harvested and used to produce ATP and a reduced hydrogen carrier. Now we saw hydrogen carriers in the respiration topic. The hydrogen carrier in photosynthesis is the coenzyme NADP. In the light dependent reactions, NADP is reduced, forming reduced NADP. And in the light dependent reactions, water is split, forming oxygen. Now the light independent reactions take place in the stroma, and the light independent reactions do not require light to function. The light independent reactions use the ATP and reduced NADP produced in the light dependent reactions, and in the light independent reactions, glucose is produced from carbon dioxide. So as we've seen, the light independent reactions do not require light to function. However, the light independent reactions do require the ATP and reduced NADP produced by the light dependent reactions. So this means that if light is not present, the light dependent reactions stop. The levels of ATP and reduced NADP then fall, and this causes the light independent reactions to stop. In the next video, we're going to start looking at the light dependent reactions.